everyone! This week in kindergarten, we are continuing our families theme. But this week, instead of focusing on who is in our family, we're going to be learning about some different cultures our families might come from and talking about what the word heritage means. And this is leading up to our special heritage picnic on Friday which everyone is invited to. And I can't wait to see what special food your family likes to eat together. This week, we're learning about four new letters, Q, R, S, and T, what their uppercase letter looks like, what their lowercase letter looks like, what sound it makes, and some words that might start with that letter. We also have a new sight word. It's this one. Anybody know what it is? Yep, that's the word go. It is our new sight word for the week. The book we're reading this week is called Bee Bim Bop. And it's all about this little girl and a special family recipe that she has called Bee Bim Bop. Huh, that sounds kind of familiar. We're also going to be talking about your special family recipes this week. Pretty cool. While we're reading, we're going to be focusing on finding the characters in a story and being able to answer questions after you're done reading to make sure your brain was paying attention. And last but not least, this week we're focusing on something really fun called rhyming, which means can you hear if two words have the same ending sound like cat and bat? Rhyming is an easy thing to practice at home, so make sure you are doing that this week. For math this week, we are finishing up our first unit and taking our unit one test, and then we're starting unit two with a look at the numbers six through 10, and we're gonna be paying special attention to the groups of five that are hiding inside those bigger numbers. So my brain can see that the number six is a group of five with one extra. The group, the number seven is a group of five and two extra and so on. This just starts to help our brain organize these numbers and recognize them without counting. So if I see a group of five and two, my brain can automatically know that that number is seven. And we're gonna be working on that skill all week. This week, our social lesson is focused on how to be assertive. And what I mean by that is, if you are stuck or you don't know how to do something, what should you do next? Because if you're gonna learn, you can't just sit there and do nothing if you're stuck or don't know what to do. So we're gonna learn that being assertive means first, you're gonna try one more time by yourself. And if you still can't figure it out, your next step is gonna be to ask a friend to see if they know what you're supposed to do. And then your third step is going to be to ask the teacher to help you. So by being assertive, we can help ourselves be better learners.